Yo, welcome to this Logic X production course. Um, if you're watching this, you're pretty new to production, I guess, but um, I will guide you through. Don't worry. First things first, let's just open up our first Logic session. First up, you will be greeted with this window. This will ask you to make a very fresh new project. Here we go. Um, this window is actually asking you to make a track. Um, we, for now, we just want to make an audio track, just one. Um, and before we do anything, we just want to hop in into the preferences and go to general because this is a very basic view for now, but we want to have the advanced stuff. We don't use it for now, but we just want to activate it so we can make use of it later. Um, we can hop over to advanced and then we go show advanced tools. And here I already activated like audio control surfaces score, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about this. We just have the advanced view. Um, for now, let's, let's have a quick overview. What's this? What's this? You know, th this is like here you have like the first big window that's going to be greeting you where you can collect everything and build the track on there. Here on the left side, you got your tracks. That's going to be from, uh, from, from the very up to the bottom. That's going to be, uh, really relevant later. But for now, let's concentrate on this. Uh, we have this window, just one track. And over here in this window, we're going to set it to 128 BPM. Now we change the tempo to a tempo that is pretty common in EDM production. So let's keep it for, for now. And what I'm going to do next is I have a little folder here um, with, with some very basic samples. From here, we have it like all the samples we're going to use today. Um, I'm just going to search for the kick I chose. Um, where is it? The bass drums. And I'm just going to drag and drop it over here. Now, if I press Alt and on the magic mouse, it's like I can just swipe on the right. We can zoom in. That's, that's pretty handy for now. And if I press spacebar, whoa, we just played our very first sample. But that's not all, you know, we want to have more samples. So what we're going to do next, if I press Alt and then just hold it down and drag the sample to the next bar, uh, sorry, to the next grid, we're going to have double the amount of samples. All right, let's do it one more time. Now, we have four samples. For now, we're going to just work with this little grid, you know. We're going to press C, which will activate this yellow thing over here. And then if we zoom out and grab it on the right corner, we can just drag it down over here. And what, what can we do with it? You see, it's a loop. We have a loop now. So let's continue building on it. I'm just going to choose a clap and drag it here. What we have now is like the second track. We just created the second track just by dragging it over here. Let's do it like on the second beat every time. Can I have a listen? Yeah, that's pretty cool for now. But let's, let, let's do one more. Maybe I have another clap, this one. Let's add it over here. And it's just underneath the first clap. What's it gonna do? We have we have more impact on the clap. That's that's like the very basic thing of layering. We were gonna get into this um, in a bit, like very advanced, but for now just uh, keep that. Um, yeah. Here on the left, you see those sliders. This is like determine the loudness of the sample. If I, if, if I do this, for example, you can hear the clap changing in volume. I can also like mute it or make it solo. This comes in really handy if you want to um, listen the sound over and over again when you go editing and stuff like that. Um, yeah, the second thing is if you press X, there's a new window suddenly. And this one 
it's like the mixing window. This is the mighty mixer. And the first rule, the really first rule you want to keep for you is like... There's a red thing going on. That's a big no-no in music production. So we're going to select all of them. I just press shift, you know, here, shift. I have all the samples and I can slide them down. And as you notice, those sliders are going down as well. But those are basically the same sli sliders, you know, and I just want to avoid them from going into the red. Now we're good to go. This is like the first beat that is probably mixed in a way. Um, but we can do more. What if I choose another sample like this Hyatt loop, for example? But what's that? You've noticed the timing is not right. What we can do now, that's the next like editing window you have in Logic. You can press Escape and then we're going to hop onto the Flex tool. This is going to allow us to change the timing of the sample. You can stretch it, you can make it slower. For now, we're just going to make it a little slower, just pressing one time so Logic can scan the sample, and then we're going to hold it on the corner and slide it to the right. Now it's perfectly in timing, as you can hear. But that's not all we can do. We can add more samples, of course. Let's go for... I found this sweet little melody loop. This one, I'm just going to drop it here. But hey, what's this? This is just a longer sample. So what I can do now, just like select everything and copy and paste. Now, if I select everything and press P, this is going to extend the yellow loop cycle. So we can just have a long, longer beat. And again, the melody seems a bit loud. So what we're going to do? Just drag it down and check if it's in the red, and it is. It still is. Now we're good to go. So that's it for the very beginning. We're going to hop into a lot more editing later, but for now we just created our first sample beat.